I'm Pierce Alexander Lilholt, and in this video, I'm going to see if concentrated oxygen can be used for pain relief. I'll show you how to use a concentrated oxygen machine, and at the end of this video, I'll, I'll answer that question you've been wondering about. Does concentrated oxygen get you high? All right, so to start off, let's uh, take a look at the oxygen concentrator machine. Oh, here we are. Okay, so here we've got the uh, the Dedac J. So first we gotta the turn it on. Woo! Okay. So that's on flow two and seventy three percent purity, and that's what I want it on. So then I have to put either one of these things, on, like on my nose, which I don't really like. That I think that's uncomfortable. Or the head harness, which I'm about to show you how this thing works. Get a slack on the line here. Okay, so this just goes right on your forehead, and then this goes behind your ear, and you angle this up at your nose here. And the pain relief I'm referring to right now, I've got some tooth pain going on. So I'm breathing this concentrated oxygen. Why might this relieve tooth pain? Why not? <laughs> well, I've heard of people being able to regulate their breathing in order to accomplish all sorts of unusual things. And I think for some people it might be a form of meditation or, there we go, that's a good position. Or who knows what, but Still trying to figure out if this is having any effect. It might, it might be. Could be, it could be a, a response that, that maybe I'm, I'm thinking about it and therefore I'm thinking about it going away and it's making it go away because of that. could also not be going away because it's still quite uncomfortable. I'm going to have to say, at least in the couple of minutes that I've been doing this, this is not curing my tooth pain. <laughs> I have very low expectations for it to be able to do that. One of the things you want to do with the oxygen concentrator is breathe deeply and it's not necessarily about how much you breathe. It's about the quality of the breath. So you can apply the, the breathing technique of breathing through your nose without the oxygen concentrator and you'll probably get about 10% more oxygen or maybe even more than that by simply breathing through your nose from uh, from my research, breathing through your nose is going to be it's going to help you synthesize or uh, it's going to help your body take in more oxygen. I usually have a pretty high blood oxygen level. So for me, they say this is like filling a gas tank that's already filled, but is it or is there still a little bit of room left in the tank and and that's the question because right now this in terms of this video it seems to not be curing any pain whatsoever <laughs> not relieving any discomfort i I 
have very low expectations for it being used for that. But that brings us to the other question. Does concentrated oxygen get you high? And you may have heard of oxygen bars where people be pay between a dollar or two dollars a minute to uh, breathe concentrated oxygen. A lot of times they add a smell to that, so it's scented air. And and a lot of people report that they do get high. Now I think. This might be a case-by-case -case basis. This could have some placebo effect going on. I would say if that is something that, that you believe might get you high. Well, this Dead Act J here, or however you say that name, is the cheapest oxygen concentrator that has a steady flow that I could find. I'll put a link in the description to this oxygen concentrator because a dollar a minute to two dollars a minute seems exorbitant for concentrated oxygen. Now is this getting me high? Hard to say because I'm already usually pretty happy and is it having having an awakening effect? Now that's a good question because it is four something in the morning and this could be waking me up a little bit. Not sure. If it is, it's very subtle. I was already somewhat awake when I started this. In terms of this getting me high, I'm going to have to go with still yet to have some sort of profound out-of-body experience or uh, hallucinations or any of these things that um, you might associate with being high like some very noticeable mind-altering uh, you know whatever state of mind being high is so, I will say that for me, I wouldn't classify breathing concentrated oxygen as getting high. It does make you focus on your breathing more, I would say, which might make you focus on breathing in a more controlled manner, which might make you feel a little better just by being aware of your breathing. Now, there is the consideration that when I've used a pulse oximeter, to, pulse oximeter before, which is, it measures your uh, blood oxygen level, and when I've been doing this, um, my, my is without this, it's usually around 98, 99, maybe higher so so when it's already that high it might be like filling a gas tank that's already filled and that might have a have an effect on if this would make me high or not which also might having such a high oxygen level and my blood might be why I'm so happy all the time. Now, I would think that if you had a, a much lower oxygen level, it might increase your oxygen level more noticeably, and you might have a the an effect that is less subtle. Because right now, whatever effect breathing concentrated oxygen is having is very subtle and it's something that I would say is borderline imperceptible so so that's coming from somebody who's got 
naturally a lot of I'm really good at breathing so naturally I've got a lot of oxygen already getting taken up by my blood so so in conclusion I still think the tooth pain has not subsided I don't think I'm utterly high it may have had a slight effect in terms of how awake I am I'd say it might be worth testing this out with somebody who's got a lower blood oxygen level. So if you do happen to have a lower blood oxygen level and you are having different results and you've tried breathing concentrated oxygen, leave a uh, leave a comment down below if you'd like to try out breathing concentrated oxygen and you don't feel like going out to get an oxygen tank filled up you can check out the link below for the oxygen concentrated this one right here which is as far as I know the cheapest that has constant oxygen flowing and it comes with this as well as this little thing I don't like this one but it seems to be something that doesn't have much research done. So if you do start breathing concentrated oxygen, be sure to check out the rest of the concentrated oxygen videos and stay tuned because I'm going to do some where I'm doing where I'm doing some some cardio intensive exercises. I'm thinking rowing machine if you have any other suggestions where I could do it and still be attached to still attached to the oxygen machine then let me know what exercises you'd like me to do you can leave those in the comment and and I'll try to see if I can't get that get that workout in while breathing the concentrated oxygen and you know maybe do set on or off just try to figure out is this going to have an effect when when you're doing things that are going to demand more oxygen from your body as you may have seen sports like high performance sports players sometimes come off the field and take a quick hit of oxygen from like an oxygen canister well I think if you were actually breathing concentrated oxygen while you were playing the sport it might provide a huge advantage because your body is going to be using more oxygen and 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 demanding it whereas right now I'm pretty sedentary so so in conclusion, if you want to try it, give it a try. If you want to learn more about this, there will be more videos and there have been videos before showing more in depth about oxygen machines and you know, just the findings so far because there like I said there's little to no research based on breathing concentrated oxygen in healthy people. So Keep on breathing. Oh, yeah.